Good morning. Welcome to class today. Today we have Hannah and me, Phoebe. Let's start off by singing Jesus Loves Even Me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves even me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves even me. Now we're going to sing, Oh, Be Careful. Jesus had gone to heaven, there were many Christians around Jerusalem. Many loved Jesus so much and they gave their lives to follow Jesus. Today we will hear a story about how a man's life was changed by Jesus. His name was Saul. 
Saul wanted to persecute Christians, so he decided to travel to Damascus to round up the Christians living there and put them in jail. Wait, Phoebe, did you say a cute purse? No, Noah. I said persecute Christians. That meant punishing Christians for believing in Jesus, even though it wasn't wrong. Silly Noah. When Saul was almost at Damascus, a bright light from heaven flashed around him. Saul fell to the ground and then heard a strange thing. A voice from heaven saying, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Saul said, who are you, Lord? The voice answered, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. But rise and enter the city, and it will be told to you what you must do. Saul got up. He couldn't see because the light had blinded him, but his heart suddenly understood something very wonderful. Saul believed that Jesus Christ was the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Saul became a Christian. His companions led him into Damascus. In Damascus, Saul fasted and prayed for three days. God told a man named Ananias to go to Saul. Ananias said that he had heard many bad things about Saul and what he had done to Christians. So he didn't want to help Saul gain his sight back. But God said, this man Saul is chosen to be a worker, to preach my name to people all over. Ananias went to Saul, laid his hands on him, and Saul's sight was restored. He could see again. Saul began proclaiming that Jesus was the Son of God. People were so amazed that the man who once persecuted Christians was now preaching faith in Jesus Christ. But the Jews did not like Saul and they plotted to kill him. When his friends knew that people were trying to kill him, they put him in a basket and lowered him over the city wall at night so he would be safe. Saul's life of service and suffering for Jesus had begun. Saul continued to study God's word, and he grew in grace and in the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Saul was a good student of God's word. He became a great teacher of God's word and even wrote many books of the Bible that eventually became part of the New Testament. Saul also went by the name of Paul, and we'll be hearing a lot more stories of Paul in our Sunday School videos. Wow, in this story, Saul was blind, but then he could see. Let's sing the song Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace. How come you guys aren't singing? Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found. Was blind, but now I see. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost. But now I see. Hey Phoebe, did you say that Saul was carrying a cute purse at the beginning of the story? No, Saul was persecuting Christians. That meant that he was punishing people for believing in Jesus. He would make Christians feel bad, put them in jail, and sometimes even try to kill them just because they believed in Jesus. Wow, that is so sad. And that sounds a lot more scary than my cute purse. But when Saul was walking on the road to a city called Damascus, do you remember what happened to him? Yeah, a bright light from heaven flashed 
and Saul became blind. He couldn't see. Exactly. Do you remember what Jesus said from heaven once the bright light made Saul blind? Mm -hmm. Jesus said, why are you persecuting me? But Jesus wasn't there. So how could Saul persecute Jesus? Well, when Saul was persecuting Christians, the Christians were hurt. And so Jesus was also hurt because he loved his people so much. At that moment, Saul met Jesus and believed in him, and he was saved. But he was still blind. Yes, Jesus commanded a man named Ananias to heal Saul. And even though Ananias didn't really want to because Saul had done so many bad things in the past to Christians, Ananias obeyed Jesus and Saul was healed. That's right. From then on, Jesus called Saul to be a worker for him, to share about Jesus to many people. We can also be like Saul. If we have met Jesus and love him, we can learn God's word by reading the Bible, and we can tell others about Jesus too. And meeting Jesus doesn't have to be blinded by a bright light from heaven. We can meet Jesus every day by reading the Bible, praying to him, and singing songs of praise to him. And if we believe in Jesus, he will come into our hearts forever. It's a new month. You know what that means, a new memory verse. So I'm gonna go through the actions and show you the memory verse, and then we'll go through it together, okay? It goes, the Lord is my light and my salvation. So Lord, you make an L, across your body and then light it's like a light bulb and for salvation it's like your chain are broken free then the next line goes whom shall i fear so this means you're scared then the next line is the lord is the strength of my life do you remember that action from the last memory verse? And then the last line is, of whom shall I be afraid? And this verse is from Psalm 27, verse one. Okay, are you ready? Let's put it all together. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Of whom shall I be afraid? Psalm 27, verse 1. Psalm 27, verse 1. We love seeing all of your drawings of Ananias and Sapphira from last week. Let's take a look at them. Great job. I love your drawing. Great coloring. Amazing work. You know what to do. After this, draw a picture of today's story and have your mom and dad send it in. Also send in you doing the new memory verse. Thanks for joining us. See you next week. Bye.